Hey there. So today we're going to talk about procurement documents. And for the security analyst, or if you're writing a security exam of some sort, there are really three documents that you need to know about. Um, and we're going to talk about those in this video today. So first off, let me say that procurement is a it's a big thing, right? When you start to uh, start to look at it, um, there are procurement specialists that really know how to get into into the whole procurement space, and they understand what's involved and what goes on. It, it's a big deal, and uh, you know what? I am certainly not a procurement specialist, uh, so the information I'm giving you in this video is really meant more for the um, for like I said, for the security analyst who's involved in some of this stuff. Not heavily, but only partially, so that you understand what the, difference are, the differences are in the uh, three main uh, documents that you're going to need to know about. And, and like I said before, if you're taking a security course or writing a security exam, um, these three procurement documents are, are going to come up, so you got to know what they are. And those three documents are RFI, RFP, and RFQ. And uh, we're going to go through what they all are right now. Okay, so an RFI. RFI stands for Request for Information. And just like it sounds, it's when a company or an organization is asking for info. And it's often used, you know, when, a, when an organization doesn't know much about a particular industry or product space, and they're really going to their suppliers or vendors or, or contractors just to get some information in general, usually, about, about what possible solutions are, what, what those organizations can do and supply to them. Um, can also be used to uh, generate a list of qualified suppliers or vendors. Um, but all it is, is, to keep in mind, is an RFI is just asking for information. It's just generally asking the questions about a particular industry or, or product space, product line, something like that. Okay, second document is RFP. And RFP is a request for proposal. And when a company or an, or an organization is ready to issue an RFP, they usually have a sense of what the industry or product space looks like. They know what potential solutions really look like, and, and they just have some context around what they're trying to do, how they're going to accomplish something, and they're putting a request out to suppliers or contractors or vendors to give them back a plan about how they specifically would solve the organization's uh, issue or problem or or whatever it is they're, they're trying to accomplish. And RFPs can become very complicated um, and very involved. Um, sure, lots of them are, are very simple, but when you start dealing with things like the federal government, uh, boy, they can get really complicated. <laughs> um, they have to be in certain formats and submitted in certain ways, and there's rules about certain things, uh, and just it's, it can be really involved. So um, it's not a simple process, but but that's what an RFP is. A, a company is, is, they know what they want to do, what they want to accomplish, and they're asking for their suppliers or their vendors to come back to them with a plan about how to do it, you know, why they're capable, what they, it's going to cost, how long it's going to take, stuff, stuff like that. All right, and the third document that you need to know about is an RFQ. And an RFQ is a request for quote. And a request for quote is really all about what's it going to cost. This is usually used when an organization wants to buy in bulk a, a bunch of stuff, right? Say uh, your organization needs to replace 300 routers. Maybe they need to replace, you know, 25 switches. Who knows? But they're going to their vendors and they're saying, hey, we need to buy this model of equipment and we need X amount. What's your price going to be and how can you deliver it to us by when, right? That That's pretty much all that means. Um, so if you're writing, again, from a security analyst context of, uh, of writing a security exam, uh, RFQ is just about price. It's all, it's all about money. There's a bunch of other documents uh, when you get into the real world around procurement and there are you know, contracts and sales purchase agreements and purchase orders and, and different things like that. Uh, but I'm not going to get into any of those. Many of them are, are kind of like what they would sound like. But the RFI, RFB, RFQ, those are the ones you got to know for different, uh, for different security exams. So if you're you're going to be taking those, now you should have them clear in your mind. All right, I hope that helps you. Have a great weekend.